Hello and welcome to Hell 2.0 in Las Vegas. My name is Lee and would you kindly introduce yourself and tell us about who you are, your company and what you do. Thank you, Lee. My name is Regina Atim and I am the CEO of Clinicians Touch Healthcare Solutions. We are a digital medicine company as well as a human factors engineering firm. And um, by human factors, we do testing to ensure safety for organizations as they're developing their products. And we also work on post-marketing and our specialty is in improving medical and medication error rates. So our mission is essentially to reduce the risk of errors to the lowest possible uh, risk as, and also to empower everyone um, that is engaged, involved in the, along the healthcare continuum. So that goes from the patient all the way to the provider as well as to the manufacturer. Uh, we're currently working on a solution to help to decrease the maternal mortality rate that is occurring uh, and has been exacerbated you know, with the pandemic. Um, it was already problematic for certain populations for um, black and um, American Indian populations. And we believe that if we create a solution to help mitigate those risks that they face, that this essentially will help the entire population. I am a pharmacist by trade and I Remember one of my first assignments at a hospital where I helped to deliver um, a patient, a, a, you know, a, a newborn, and her mother was unfortunately undergoing um, a complication where she was bleeding to death. And I remember really working hard overnight, um, even as she had even as she was bleeding to death and some of the options were running out. And, you know, my thought was, I am not going to let this baby not go home with their mom. Wow. And um, through some of the actions, I was able to borrow a medication from another hospital overnight after getting all of the, um, clearances. All the clearances. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, happily, you know, a few weeks later, I was told that because of my actions, I was able to um, save this woman's life. You literally saved her life. So, wow. so because, thank you. So because of that, you, and that was one of the first actions as a pharmacist. So ever since then, women's health has always been a passion of mine. Um, and it's come around full circle. So I've done many things across the healthcare continuum from working as a clinician myself within the hospital systems to then working for um, for a um, a what is it, electronic health record company, mm -hmm. to then learning how informatics and digital medicine can be incorporated to assist with 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 the care for patients, and then actually working with the pharma companies that are developing these devices to then potentially help um, to mitigate some of these errors that we have. Wow. You're so, doing amazing work. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so coming around full circle, back to maternal care, we are working on a digital medication application to try to empower women as they go through their maternal care and also postpartum, because that is the highest risk, yes. is actually postpartum. I actually am a patient of postpartum preeclampsia, yes. so I fully understand Absolutely. and appreciate that. Absolutely, <laughs> and wouldn't it be nice to have a tool that you could utilize to not only engage yourself, but to engage your um, your entire care network, yes. right? Yes, that would and that is, that is what we're aspiring for. So well, I'm looking forward to... Um, 2023 yeah. and hopefully having something <laughs> you know uh for us then yeah. so clinicians touch healthcare solutions <laughs> yeah so exactly that is the reason why all everything you just mentioned that was a lot and impressive i was trying to keep up so <laughs> that was definitely impressive and that's one of the reasons why you are receiving a health 2.0 um a, uh, award 
for your accomplishments because you just that's extraordinary. So tell us, how does that make you feel to, re to receive those accolades for all of your groundbreaking work? Honestly, it's it's amazing to be rewarded for something that I feel so passionate about. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I'm very grateful and I'm looking forward to just keep going and um, and develop some solutions to help um, our patients, because essentially that's why I got into healthcare. So this is a different way that I am hopefully impacting a large population. No, you of are. I mean, honestly, I didn't, as a, as, a, as a woman of color, I didn't even know that anyone was behind the scenes working on that. So that's refreshing to hear, especially after going through my own personal experience. So I just want to say thank you. Oh, yeah. You know, appreciate that. Um, and I'm sure many other women do, because when you're in there and you're in the trenches and you're fighting for your life, you don't even, you don't think anybody else is fighting there for you, with you. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Much appreciated. So tell us, how has your experience been here collaborating and networking with others at Health 2.0? Is this your first conference? It's actually my second. Welcome last, back. Thank you. <laughs> last uh, last year when I came, I got to interact with some, um, some very well uh, rounded and well renowned folks mm -hmm. and got some ideas yeah. and it helped to uh, push me to really uh, push forward to this year as well. Mm -hmm. and this year, it's been amazing. It's just meeting people, like-minded individuals, entrepreneurs that have the same um, thought processes that you might have, the same pain points that they might be going through, yeah. you know, perhaps some ideas that they might be able to share with you to navigate certain uh, areas. So it's been, it's been great. Wonderful. Yes. Yeah, so thank you for being here. And um, how do you think the industry is transforming lives on a global scale? You know, we've talked about here in this country, you know, the the uh, the, you know, the issue with uh, black maternal health care. How is it in the industry is transforming on a, on a global scale? Absolutely. I think digital medicine as a whole can help to transform um, global health care because we are able to then reach um, areas that are what that in the past perhaps we wouldn't be able to, to reach and i spoke about empowerment mm -hmm. and patient empowerment everyone has a smartphone mm -hmm. you know and with different digital solutions there may be some interventions that we could have for certain things that right now could be catastrophic in some areas you know so i think um any innovation any technological advances that we are making can really impact care on a global scale. I believe healthcare is a right for everyone and it's the beginning um, really for anyone that, for them, the beginning of them really fulfilling whatever it is that their destiny is. And so uh, as a healthcare worker, it's imperative that we do incorporate technologies that can help um, populations globally. Yes, and thank you for being an advocate and being at the forefront. So tell everyone where they can find you to further collaborate online. Absolutely, so um, you can reach me on LinkedIn, Regina Atim. Uh, I can also be reached at www.clinicianstouch.com. Wonderful, well thank you so much for taking the time to sit and speak with me today. It's been an absolute pleasure. I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference and enjoy Vegas. Thank you so much, thank Lee. You. It was wonderful.